Got a couple pumps in today, so I figured I'd make another little video. Show you how I do these. I gotta clean up the impeller edges. And then pump oil. And a wear ring. It don't look horrible, but I'm gonna redo it. You've never smelled burnt pump oil. It's not pleasant. Step two. Get the swear ring out and pull it out. A lot of times I'll just pull the wear ring out without pulling the impeller. You can knock it out through the bottom, but we need to clean this impeller up, so I gotta pull it. Impacts really don't work. I use a breaking bar. Sometimes the impact will get it, but a lot of times it'll mess the threads up too. All right, let's get the impeller out. Looks all right. Some of the blades on the back. Had a little bit of damage, so we'll straighten all that out. You didn't have to pull the impeller out. You can heat the end of a pry bar up, create a notch in the plastic, and the wear ring will come out without pulling the impeller. Now that notch I just made. can freeze the wear ring, but I don't have time for that. You can pull this out, check the condition of the bearings. You can see this one's got some wear on it, but it's not horrible. Bearings are smooth. If it's not, replace it. I'm going to put a little grease on the threads.
choose from. This is mysmokies.com. Come home to the smokies. With vacation memories that will last a lifetime. You have multiple cash offers on your home instantly. Hi, Tracy King here with your home sold guaranteed realtor. Keith's real estate team. Pull out your phone and text me your address at 515-7255. I'll give you multiple cash offers. These cash offers don't suck. It's that easy. get to the bottom you gotta tighten it up pretty good don't put a massive amount of torque on it just make sure it's good and tight get a little bit of grease on the brush make sure the inside of the propeller got some grease on it some grease off. Alright. Have to replace this O-ring. You need to clean this surface up also. Make sure there's no debris or crud, sealant, whatever on it. Put the new O-ring on. a little grease around the o-ring you can also use some anaerobic seal it if you want your allen nut is going to face up so kind of line it up just a little bit rotate while you're pushing in make sure that o-ring all right once you get the o-ring in rotate till the bolt holes line up If you ever tighten the cone, it'll start to mushroom out the plastic. You'll have other issues. See, do pump oil, clots pump oil. If you're in a pinch, you can use 80 or 90 weight gear oil. It's recommended use either clots or sea dew. The other stuff has the potential of uh, degrading the seals quicker. Once it's full to the top, let it sit for a few minutes. Shake it back and forth, you'll get air bubbles. Come up. Don't fill it flush with the top. You want a little space in there so when you put the Allen back in, it doesn't force pressure on the seal. I use Makuni pop off gauge because I already have one for uh, carburetors. So we're going to put about 9 or 10 psi in this pump. Maybe a hair a bit more. This one's failing. It's not holding pressure. So we're gonna tighten the fitting down a little bit more. All right, I put some thread sealer on. It's holding up. All right, once you're done uh, pressure checking, put your Allen back in. We're going to screw that down until it's just below the surface and there's a little bit of tension. 
on the head of the neck. About that far. And all we're doing is making a notch in the plastic. Once that cools down, give it a couple of wax. We're gonna move to the other side, make one more notch. putting pressure on the wear ring with the hot end to create a notch. Original wear ring, it's been in there forever. <laughs> 